Hi everyone, it's Eva here. Welcome back to another tutorial for building and decor tricks in The Sims 4 without any custom content. Before we get started, make sure you have the following cheats enabled. First up is a functional walk-in shower with wall dividers. So to start off, this is really simple, but create a room so that you can lower the platform. I said this in my video for ideas for platforms. I don't like using the platforms with the platform tool, but rather I place a fence down, create a room, and then we can lower this room. If you're building this on a ground floor, then you don't need to consider anything. If you're building this on a higher floor, then you have to make sure that this entire room is a level that's not the normal level. What I mean by that is this bit of flooring has to be at least one level higher than the normal level when you build a normal second floor because otherwise on the second floor you won't be able to lower the floor like this. On the ground floor there's no problems but um, yeah. So lower this room and that way you don't need to replace all the walls. I personally do not like having these like fences here. I play tested it a couple of days ago. It does function with the low little fences as well, but I just don't like the look of it. So for the wall dividers, I used the tool mod. So if you don't have the tool mod, don't despair. For whatever reason, either you're like on console or you just don't like downloading mods, I will upload the shower with the wall dividers on my gallery so that you can just download it and then place them yourself or just keep the shower as it is. I realize that a lot of people can't use mods so I want this to be doable for everybody which is why I am uploading it to my gallery and you can download it from there and then customize your shower the way that you like. If you have tool mod, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do this and other options if you don't have tool mod. So the item I used for this shower was this crystal clear glass floor from Island Living looks like this and creates a glass floor downstairs normally. I rotated, the, rotated this by 90 degrees to make it upwards and then I would scale it down to probably 0.4. Yeah, probably 0.4. And then you can pla place this just normally. So in the um, room that I will upload, these will be fully stacked already, so you don't need to do this if you don't want to. Um, but if you want to learn how to do this, then I'll just show you like this. And then just duplicate this object. This is not a tool mod tutorial, so I'm not going to go into detail about how to do all these things with tool mod. I'm just going to show you quickly what the steps were that I use with tool mod. So yeah, I aligned two like this. And then you can raise the rest up with the nine key and stack them on top of each other. All you have to do now is just do the shower. So you just put the shower down. I like using this one from Discover University, but the new pack also comes with like a walk-in shower type. So you can use that too. And that is literally it. You can add another wall here, for example, if you want completely up to you. And like I promised, I will show you a different way of doing this. So if you don't have the glass for an island living or you don't have tool mod or you just don't want to download it from a gallery for whatever reason, you can use from Moschino Staff Pack, there's this glass room divider that you can also use. Just size it down, for example, a couple times, raise it up and then stack them like I did with the other one. So yeah, this is another option for the shower walls. The second trick I have for you guys is a cozy window seat. So to begin with, I recommend using the second lowest half wall, so the 0.5, and a two by one is usually good enough for this. So then choose an ottoman. I usually choose this one from the laundry day stuff pack, just because it looks really comfy and cozy and raise it up once so it's like on the level of the half wall and then you can place it. Normally I would size it up with tool mod but because I don't want to use tool too much I can recommend just using two so one of them just get like gets clipped in this wall. I mean you're probably not going to have a window at the back of this wall like I do right now but anyway yeah just do these two and then sometimes I use cushions from the toddler stuff pack that are actually like comfy chairs but I rotate them to look like they are decorative cushions and I also have included a download for this so you can just download the cushions rotated already. I will show you what it looks like so I have it rotated here just place it somewhere 
and then you will have the cushions in it and rotated as well so you don't need to rotate anything else you don't need tool mod for this so that that's great and then just place these cushions on the side and there you go you have the decorative cushions without tool mod Number three are functional bathtubs tucked away in a little corner. Let's just use any kind of bathtub. This is super simple and really easy to, to do. Basically just place any bathtub, whatever you like. I'm just using the spa day one. And then use the same half wall in the 0.5 size that we just used for the comfy seat area. Place that as well. And that's already it, literally. This is the functional bathtub. Sims will be able to step over this half wall, so. This one was a quick one. <laughs> Number four is an L-shaped sofa. This one is super easy, but you will need to have a Moschino stuff pack for this specific sofa. I'm pretty sure you can do it with sofas from other packs, but I personally did this style with the Moschino stuff pack. So just place the Moschino stuff pack. I would put it like one on this side. And the other one here for now we just put them anywhere because we don't know where the armchair is going to go and now the big trick is that you use this armchair that also comes in this pack to create this corner bit because if you don't have this it'll just be like a missing piece i feel like like there's something just missing so i place this armchair in the corner then we interject these two so it's already a, an L-shaped kind of sofa. And if you want to, you can place this one again to create this kind of more sofa look, but it's completely up to you. You can do both of those. So that is a really simple trick as well. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it will work with other sofas. I just, for this specific one, I just use Moschino stuff pack. And again, I will upload this corner sofa on my gallery and then you can just place it. and then use the pillows that I already rotated with tool mod onto the sofa. So really simple and not much work for you. There you go. Tip number five is a fireplace within a wall. So for this fireplace, create a space as long as you want um that is one tile wide because i think one tile is the right look for this and then use a window that you personally like so i recommend using long small windows like for example this one or this one or this one for example and then size it down three times so it literally just vanishes it's gone the window effect is still there but it's like hidden somewhere in this wall. So next up, type wood plank into search. I hope you all put the cheats on that I mentioned at the beginning of this video because otherwise you will not find this object. It is in the debug section. So this is a little wood plank that I sized up once. Raise it up with the nine key until it's like on the line. And then do the same again. So you covered the bottom lines like this. And the same for the top lines. So you've got a bit of a frame already. Now you're gonna be like, well, how do we do the side ones? Well, with tool mod, but don't despair because if you don't have tool mod, I will upload this room again, the entire fireplace in three steps. So there are three different rooms that you need to download to create this fireplace. And I will have everything rotated. You don't need to place anything else. You literally just need to download them from the gallery and place them. But if you're interested in how to do it yourself, toggle both objects and then rotate them this way by 90 degrees. And now you can use them as normal items, raise them up. and frame the rest of the fireplace. Now, that's part one done. So you can download this part on the gallery. The next part, inside this little one by however long it is, you wanna raise this up two 
if you've placed the window where I placed it. Basically just raise it up so it aligns with this bottom bit of the fireplace. Now, you can type in debug into search, click on the text search for because that only has a couple of items and that's where the item is and you don't need to scroll through the entire debug. So on the third row probably will be this debug wood and you can just literally place that all along the fireplace to create this look of logs that are being burnt. So for example like this, you can add a couple on top. So it doesn't look fully fake. <laughs> So that is step two done. You can download this step as well, so you don't have to place it all by yourself. And the third step involves placing a basement. So place a basement, not directly underneath this because you won't be able to, but if you start it on the side, for example, you can just place that down here. So now you can make it just a one by one, uh, just a one tile long one and now you want to use a lamp that comes with get famous where is it where is it where is it this one it has a little fire look so raise that up to probably the top of the the room i sized it down once just because <laughs> just because really there's no there's no reason for it now basically go into live mode press play and it will be fiery. So for me, this is a bit too far apart. I don't think this looks very natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these a bit closer to, together. So it looks more like an actual fire, not just three different flames. Let's have a look how this looks. Yeah, this is much better. That bit was part three. You can download the basement bit on my gallery as well. And yeah, that's the magic of the fireplace. <laughs> Last but not least is a little play area. So I tried to do a play area like this a couple months ago and we didn't have the split level function in the game yet so it wasn't functional sadly and I thought maybe now I can actually create it and make it functional. Let's make it like this, like this, like this, like this. So it depends what size you want to do it. Um, I don't want it to be too big so I think I'll just do it like this. And how high will we raise this up? Three? I think three is a good size. So now I would like to create a couple platform stairs up to this platform. So make one by ones, raise them up once, and we have the perfect stairs. I mentioned this in my platform idea video as well. You have to have platforms one height level apart for them to be functional as stairs. So this works perfectly. And then we can add our columns to this. I don't remember which ones I use. So I'll just use these for now. Create a new type of platform area. Doesn't have to be the same, does it? <laughs> okay, this makes no sense. Guess we won't have a column there. Now we have the basic bits. And then last time I added the wood plank that we just used for the fireplace as a kind of railing. So just raise this up like this multiple times. That's basically the play area done because now you just need to add some toys And only kids and toddlers will be able to use this because adults probably won't fit. So that's a really cool feature of the new platform tool. You can decorate it a bit more. That's what I did last time, for example. You can add, where are they, where are they, where are they? These, I added last time as a kind of bit of decoration, which I really like. I think they look really cute. And then you can also add, for example, some of these curtains just to make it look like a bit more interesting I 
but it is completely up to you what you want to do. It will be a functional play area. And that is everything for my building and decor tricks in The Sims 4 without any CC. It's gone dark outside already, so I'm sat in the dark here with just my ring light, <laughs> which is why I'm so white as a ghost. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.